What's going on guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV and today we are going to be talking about Beyond Good and Evil 2 which is probably the most anticipated game I, I'm waiting for right now. Uh, right alongside Ancestors Humankind Odyssey which is another game uh, but this here is a space opera and I am super excited to start covering this game. Now we've done a breakdown on a lot of the features it's not all the features but a lot of the features and i'm going to link that down below and uh you can check that out and get caught up on some of that stuff uh, but from here on out we're going to be doing a video about the ships um today we're going to be talking about character customization and things like that and uh ask you what kind of character you would like to be in uh beyond good and evil 2 so beyond good and evil 2 is a space pirate game um so, uh, I get to run in my mouth too much. <laughs> I've got Semtex UK on the call. Sem, how you doing, buddy? Yo, what's going on, Cobra? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm excited for uh, Beyond Good and Evil. I must admit, I've been following it sort of like loosely for, for quite a while since uh, the uh, initial announcement of it, right. which was a long, long time ago now, because I absolutely loved the first game. Um, it's, yeah, just absolutely amazing, Beyond Good and Evil 1. Um, which was just called Beyond Good and Evil, um, but it was an absolutely fantastic game. It kept me gripped, and there wasn't many games at that time that I played, you know, right from the beginning, right the way through. Um, so yeah, and you know, all the stuff that's coming out about it is incredibly exciting. It's right. Very, very cool. Yeah, yeah ex exactly. And for a lot of the people who uh, have been following this game. Um, you're not really going to learn too much information. Uh, th these are to spread the word, to get people to uh, look at Beyond Good and Evil 2 and get excited about it and things like that. Um, but this is a good place to come for discussion and have a little podcast. Uh, we will be doing some uh, live podcasts, which I usually call them subcasts, where the subscribers get to come on the show and they get to talk about uh, the, the topic that we're talking about. And we're going to start talking about Beyond Good and Evil 2 on those uh, subcasts. Um, so, uh, uh, a lot of you guys probably know all this information, but we're going to be talking about uh, character customization and things like that. We're also going to be posing the question, what would you like to be in Beyond Good Evil 2? So, Beyond Good Evil 2, you're a space pirate and you're a hybrid. So, uh, we'll, we'll go over the whole story and I would say maybe the next video we'll talk about the story. Talk about why you're a hybrid and talk about why you've escaped and uh, what you could do in inside uh, besides being a pirate you could be an advocate uh, for trying to free other slave hybrids uh, because that's why you were hybrid you were created to serve a purpose you were genetically created to serve a purpose whether that be uh, to be a bounty hunter to be security or to be a toy for a child or uh, to to be a cook or to be a servant of some sort that's why the hybrids were created and a lot of them have broken free they've es escaped and uh, it's really interesting and the story is actually pretty I'm, I'm holding back trying to talk too much about it uh, in this video um, but we're gonna talk about character customization um, I'm really super excited I just showed Semtex uh, the video for character customization what did you think about that I'm really intrigued it seems like it's really really advanced compared to what we've seen before in other games where you have character customer customization um I, I what intrigues me the most is you being able to choose kind of the base dna that those characters you create actually combine because i right. think that really gives you such a almost an infinite possibility of being completely unique in this universe and it seems just stunning it, it really does the way it's done um you can tell they've really spent a lot of time on this and yeah. i i think this is you know really pushing the bar um in that in that aspect you know the that's a really advanced npc um as well you know the amount of different npcs you could see using the same thing um you know they can let the s sliders go crazy you right. can have like half elephant half spider dude yeah um, you exactly know, you can mix it, the it, dna it's... together yeah, it just seems like such a unique and new kind of thing. And I think this is really going to set this apart from other things that we see that are in the same vein. Definitely. Right. Uh, and there also was a little bit of information that um, the 
the hybrids that you see were all if you play a hybrid you're you're a clone all right so they're all clones every every hybrid on the planets they're all clones um and we'll talk about that in a future video and why that is and why they said that um but you don't have to play a hybrid uh you could play a male or female human or a male or female uh hybrid of of your choosing and i what would you pick sam I'm really torn, given the options. I mean, there are so many options, aren't they? I mean, uh, we've actually, I think we've actually got the list here, haven't we, of the options. And if we like run through, then we can kind of give people an idea of why I'm a little bit confused about what I go for. Okay, all right. Um, so now to, to be clear, these aren't all like uh, like confirmed, I don't believe. Um, I'm having a bit of trouble finding mine. Okay, I don't think these are all confirmed. Uh, they're definitely, this is a, 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 a a post uh, here that they're, they're all by question marks so I'm not sure if every one of these are confirmed um, but there are you know these are good discussion points uh, this one here says uh, and it's like um, so, so which ones are most important to you and to everyone else and what would you pick that and it's asking to pick two um, so animal hybrid playable characters <clears throat> I think this first list here is confirmed. I'm not sure. I, I think so, yeah. I yeah. think that from what we've seen from the screenshots and what we've seen on the video, a lot of the stuff that we've seen on this first list right. does seem to be what they've actually shown. So, <clears> yeah, I would say that that's kind of 80% confirmation that these are going to be types that are going to definitely right, be right. There, yeah. So we got pig, monkey, ape, uh, tiger, dog, cat, rhinoceros, in parentheses, it's a unicorn. <laughs> um, horse, elephant, snake, rat, mouse, cheetah, leopard, antelope, deer, moose, elk, panda, bear, koala, kangaroo, badger, and squirrel. Out of that list right there, the confirmed ones, uh, I would have to say I'm, I'm going to go with monkey slash ape. I would have to go koala slash oh, really? squirrel. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I'd, I'd be like super cute, but with ninja skills, and I think that would be amazing. You, you know, you could cute your way into situations and then ninja your way out. Yeah, I think yeah. that'd be a good thing. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, so, guys, down below, tell us what you would like to be in uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two, um, and then there's others here that are like uh, uh, they have question marks. So I don't think that these are confirmed. But we got sh well, Shark is Shark's definitely confirmed. We saw Shark in the video. Yeah. yeah. So I would say that's probably um, you know a high probability of it being in the final release. Yeah. Right, and we also see looks like over here like a lion. Uh, so yeah, I, I I think this. How old is this post? This was posted on. Oh, this is back in 2017. So yeah, I'm sure that a lot of this information is probably been updated. As we can see, a lion there, shark there. Um, but uh, it's interesting to go over some of these because sometimes you just don't think about uh, the possibilities. And but they got shark, dolphin, turtle. Uh, you, so you could look like a geck if you want to. Eel, piranha, octopus, squid, lobster, crab. Um oyster what what that that would be quite crazy i mean you would be you how would, would you control your <laughs> exactly you, you'd just slide around everywhere wouldn't you It'd be brilliant. <laughs> all right so yeah some of these are confirmed owl hawk fal falcon eagle pigeon uh chicken rooster crow robin vulture bat uh scorpion spider bee lizard frog praying mantis and ant um, so a lot of people are like, uh, let's see, uh, cold fire here says I pick tiger and turtle, uh, half human, half raving rabbit for me, uh, says Toninus, uh, Lyro gone. These are really old, um, responses too. back in 2017. The list is sorely lacking a fox. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, uh, also guys, I'm reading this on the forums, uh, so I, I highly urge people to come over to the forums here. I will link this down below. Um, come over to the forums, make an account, get in here and start discussing things with all these awesome people. There's uh, tons of different boards, uh, tons of different topics and conversations you can get involved in. 
And uh, you got the Space Monkey program you could also uh, sign up for, which is here. And something really exciting about the, the Space Monkey program is uh, Hit Record, which we're going to be talking about uh, maybe the next video. I, I think that Hit Record ties in with talking about the cities, and I definitely want to talk about the cities and what they're doing with them and how intricate they're going to be. Uh, so we might, I, I think Hit Record's a good uh, next video that we're going to talk about. But these developers are so open and uh, transparent about what they're doing. They want your help. Uh, they want you to uh, submit music and things like that. Your art, that's it's literally going to be in the game. And I, uh, we went over and checked out Hit Record, which is right here. And here's some of the confirmed things that have been finished and ready to go. Uh, we're going to go over some of these in the next video. And they're just absolutely amazing. I mean, all of these are amazing. Then you got the art here, anti-hybrid propaganda, um, anti-establishment art. Um, and then you got, the, there's a radio station called Radio Cheetah. And the Radio che uh, Radio Cheetah is going to have music on it. Just like, okay, so this game's going to be very GT, Grand Theft Auto-esque. Uh, you know, like it's going to be... But in space. Right, but in space, in the future, uh, you could go down into the cities and steal vehicles, steal cars. There's radio stations to go through on uh, here, over here on the side, Radio Cheetah Stingers. People are uh, contributing to some of those here. We'll play one of the radio stingers here real quick just to kind of get an idea of like the radio station. Uh, so let's go ahead and play this one right now. Hello, Hellraisers! If you're looking for trouble, pirates, you found it. This is a love letter to my fellow Hellraisers letting it all hang out in our dirty little corner of the cosmos. Fuck the system! <laughs> So very awesome. So just like in GTA, you got a radio station, you're going to have some radio personalities and things like that on the radio. You're going to have music, which none of it's going to be licensed music from what I tell. It's all going to be fan made music uh, that is going to be uh, in the game. I'll link this down below, but we're going to go over this. We're going to uh, in the next video. I'm 100 percent like satisfied that that's the next video now uh and we'll take a look at some of these songs and things like that uh but again i'll link that down below but very gta-esque uh type of game and i i i just think that's awesome um the, i like it, the way that they're not uh kind of molly calling to the player base either they're they're you know they're going in hard that they're, they're, they're not taking any prisoners with a lot of the stuff that i've listened to on there it's you know it's music that i would listen to myself me too it not being in the game it really is good stuff and it, and i like the fact that it's sort of, it's definitely being aimed at more adult audience and i think that's brilliant like we were saying with the 2077 uh, cyberpunk um you know it's aimed at the older audience it's got that gritty kind of dirty future that we see in films like alien and um you know, it's not a sterile environment. And that I think that's all the more immersive. It's all the more believable. We all, you know, I'm sure we all agree that that's kind of what we're likely to find in the future. It's not going to be sterile and lovely white surfaces like we see in, um, you know, films like Prometheus, for example. You know, it's it's going to be dirty, gritty, visceral. It's, it's incredible, yeah. Just get onto the forums, peeps. Check it out. Really, really deep delve into this because it's definitely worth your time. It's a very, very interesting and exciting prospect for the future. Hundred percent agree. Yeah, yeah. I and like I said, guys, we're gonna deep dive every aspect of this game, explore every inch of every known uh, factual thing, and then after we get the facts out of the way, guys, we're gonna speculate the crap out of this. You know, that's oh, <laughs> we're just, yeah. yes, yes, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And we're going to look at, uh, you know, every detail. Like someone was asking about pets and someone said, well, some of these were like created for pets. And as we see there on the screen, there's that lady with the red dress and she's got a little monkey or something like that, a little cat monkey or something on her shoulder. And I don't know if that's <laughs> like a playable character that you could have or if that's just like a, 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 a pet or if it's just there for design, just for the concept art. Who knows? Um, but it's going to be fun to spend speculate you know uh, what we could do and and what we're going to get in the game and then we're also going to do like the the ships videos which i can't wait to discuss uh all of that there's a lot of concept art that we can go over and and things like that but uh uh but before we close off 
I do want to ask again, what kind of character would you be in Beyond Good and Evil 2? Uh, again, I'm going to be an ape of some sort, but I want to be a hairy ape. I want to be a hairy ape with like gray hair. I want to be old. I want to be wise. I want to be scary. Uh, sort of like that one that's right there on the top, the one with the, the ninja sword in the back, and he's got the tribal art on his on his head. He's got the leather. He's, it sort of looks like Blade. You know, <laughs> I like really blade. like that dude. I'm still going with my koala squirrel. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to be like feared as a koala squirrel in this universe. I would be. <laughs> I can't tell yeah. you enough how just weird that, of a choice that is. Well, each to their own. I like koalas, <laughs> right? Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the guy in the white shirt over there near the 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 creepy looking girl with the red hair. Um, mm. He's he looks like Mickey Wark. I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, I do, yeah. He kind of yeah. looks a little bit like Wolverine as well, in a way. Yeah, that too, that too, yeah. Yeah. I re I've, uh, I, the brilliant thing is, is, I mean, what we're seeing is just sort of an artist's impression of some of the things that you could create. But the, with all of that list and with the way they're doing the, a character creation, it really is down to you. That's the that's the beautiful thing about this. It's not it's not something that is going to be forced on you. You, che you choose the DNA types. And you can mix and match those DNA times however you like it seems. Right, right. So, you know, you can truly be unique in this. And, you know, there's so much more that we can go into about this. I don't want to sort of like go into that right now. Um, but yeah, that there's definitely many, 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 many good reasons to really start looking at Beyond Good and Evil 2 and saying, this is something I need to get behind because yeah. this and this is going to be an open game. world game uh, that's going to have a story almost just like gta like you guys know there's a story in gta but who plays it i mean i i have but you know it, it's it's so easy for me to hop in gta say i'm going to play the story and the next thing you know i'm just messing around stealing cars doing all kinds of crazy things and not doing the story and i'm gonna see <laughs> probably myself doing the same thing in beyond good and evil too just uh you're gonna find me probably up on some mountain uh alone with the wind and the snow just breathing through the fur of my ape head and uh not doing a, a the, the the story whatsoever and I, I i can't wait for that i really can't and you know they even said that there's like temples all the way out there and some of the rural mountains and things like that there was for uh, religious people uh out there just worshiping you can come across things like that but um uh, as we said in our previous video, there's, this is only going to be like one star system, System 3, and the, these planets are massive, and I'm really happy that they're going with one star system, but Michelle did say for now, it's only one system, for now, so yeah. we can see more come in the future, but I'm happy it's one, because they could take and, and focus on populating that 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 planet or each planet that's in the star system to make it feel like it's really lived in it's really colonized and uh there's history there which is all those things i just mentioned to you are extremely important to these guys like that's what they're working on really hard and that's why they need your help for hit record so they can populate these cities with artwork music uh lore and they're asking for lore they're asking for stuff like that the, the posters everything they want to really do a good job on these cities and we could all get together and help so go over make an account for hit record and who knows maybe your stuff can get in there i mean i i, I, I think as well something really worth mentioning on that thing is because i was looking at a lot of the responses and stuff to uh, when they announced the hit record uh kind of aspect of the game kind of character uh, you know player driven content and i think it's really important to note that this isn't something you're going to do for free and that like they'll take it and then they make everything off of it if your stuff makes it in then you're going to get paid for that yes this yes. is you know there's a real motivation for you to really make good content for this game for it to be included and for the game to promote you not not just you promoting the game but for the and, and that for creators uh, you know all you guys out there that make music all you people out there that draw amazing artwork all you people that have incredible ideas that you write down um really that, that like that in it in and of itself is something that you should be really excited about when it comes to beyond good and evil this really is 
amazing. Yes. And it's, let, it's let me go ahead. Direction that nothing else has gone before. If we go on long to too much longer, I'm, I'm going to end up talking too much about hit record. And I really want to devote an entire segment to that. Um, and but I want to let you guys hear a little bit of this. This is one of the final versions of the song uh, that somebody multiple people worked on this. Some people did the vocals, different people did the music, other people did some mixing, um, things like that. So it, it's really interesting what they got going on here. But this is the kind of stuff the kind of music i don't know if i'll get copyright for this i'm not going to play it all guys and i'm going to link back to it uh so fair use um uh i just want to create some uh, attention around this project it's it's absolutely amazing but um here is uh, just a song that people made and it's going to be in the game it's going to be on the radio station Okay, all right, guys. Uh, absolutely awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. And I know there's a bunch of talented uh, individuals out there in the Cobra TV community, and I would love to see you guys create some stuff. I know Gold and Silver is amazing, amazing with uh, graphic design, beautiful gamer as well. Um, so, you know, it, it, reach out, yep. make an account for Hit Record, and start creating. Yeah, people like Black Note as well. Black Note Studios makes incredible music that, you know, this is all these, you know, this is a really good reason to get involved with this, like really look into it, find out about it. And I'm really excited that uh, like we can kind of introduce a lot of people in the community that aren't aware of kind of what Beyond Good and Evil 2 is about yes. to them and get them involved uh, at this stage because the, the time is now to get interested in Beyond Good and Evil. Right, so, right watch this space for more videos it's going to get exciting people. exactly exactly and not only are you waiting to play an amazing game but while you wait you could you could be a part of this in many different ways you could create content with the developers for the developers for the game or you can uh, sub, uh you know put your input in there and uh suggest things because they take what you say very very seriously i cannot hold these developers high up uh, high enough on a pedestal uh they are they are up there as far as transparent and amazing developers and uh just get involved in this community guys make the uh, uh, account at the forum space funky program account uh get in make a hit record account and uh just get involved i'm i'm super excited for this i don't know if you can tell i i can i can me too <laughs> as well I, I think we're both incredibly excited about this to be honest and i really really hope that a lot of people out there also kind of get it and and start seeing why this is such an exciting prospect because it's not just a game that's delivered to you that you play this is something that you can help create right and that's millions you know potentially millions of minds all giving the best stuff and putting it forward and that like this game being the outcome of all of that and they're really pushing boundaries here they really are not not just with the character cre uh, creation but so much stuff that you know you will hear about in the near future um on cobra tv so watch this space we're going in that's right we are going and we're going to deep dive on this so hard you have no idea guys so if you want to learn uh there's many places you guys can um uh, go to learn information about this to forums immediately learn information from the forums but if you want an excited bunch of people talking about this in different ways cobra tv is here and if um you want to subscribe to semtex as well his link is going to be down below he's going to be playing the game also i will be playing this i don't I, I don't want to run an entire Let's Play channel, but this is a game that is definitely going to be played quite a bit on Cobra TV when it comes out. Um, and me and Semtex, you can follow our adventures as we goofy foot all over the... Uh, uh, as, we, as uh, We're going to be pirates. We're not going to be goofy footing, right? Can I ask, how, how do you feel about having a pirate koala squirrel as a wingman? Look, I've had something even stranger at my side in a different game so i'm okay with that okay okay as long as you're good, that, as as you're good. <laughs> i'm okay with it yeah <laughs> okay guys that's gonna do it for today's show stay tuned for a ships episode the hit record episode um uh the cities episode and uh we'll probably tie that in with the hit record episode um but uh stay tuned for a bunch of goodness coming out for beyond good and evil 2 i'm gonna go absolutely nuts i'm gonna go insane on beyond good and evil 2 we're here to stay we're moving in Love you guys.
Until next time. Bye.